Strayed Lights is one of those games that I go into expecting a certain kind of experience, but walk away with something completely different that just brings a smile to my face, even with its short runtime of 4-8 to eight hours, depending on if you're going for 100% completion or not. And I think a big part of that is just the visual style of the game. The world of Strayed Lights is absolutely beautiful. The artistic creativity on display is such a joy to look at. From the giant crystal light in this cave to the grassy land that looks like something out of Alice in Wonderland, Strayed Lights visual style is something to behold. But visual style only goes so far with the main interaction in a world like this is through combat. Which is incredibly simple in practice, because you might go into Straight Lights thinking it's going to play like your typical button mashing action style game. But actually, you have an interesting system that focuses on making less more. So the main focus of the combat is to actually parry enemy attacks, to fill up a bar so you can release an attack to defeat the enemies. But the kicker is there's a three color system attached to this, red, blue, and purple. You will be constantly switching between two of those colors red and blue, while enemies will have access to all three colors. So the idea behind the combat is if you want to fill up that bar through parries, you have to match your color to the enemies. Now if you parry while an enemy is blue and you are red, you won't gain nothing for your bar, but you will block damage. Then if an enemy is attacking while purple, that is a corrupted attack, and you have to dodge those. Now there is a little more to the combat than this, for starters, you only recover health when you parry or kill an enemy. Also, you do have a basic attack that can be used to help fill up your bar and lower an enemy's bar, which once it's drained, they become incapacitated. But you will hardly ever be using your normal attack for this in about two-thirds of the game since it's hardly worth the effort till you unlock some of the few skills you have available to you. Because you see, you're able to enter this inner world inside your mind where you can spend two different skill points to unlock abilities like stunning enemies for a short time or raising your health. You earn these two different kind of tokens from killing normal enemies for the lower part of the skill tree and bosses for the higher part of the skill tree. And you might be thinking there isn't much to this skill tree, but the impact of these few skills are definitely felt in the combat. Now overall, the combat against normal enemies felt pretty repetitive after a while since there isn't many types of them and you never fight more than two at a time since a gameplay style system like this most likely couldn't function but the boss battles, on the other hand, were an absolute blast and really shows off the potential of the game. Thanks to it highlighting your mastery over the controls and the cool button sequences that don't take away from the core experience of these battles, it actually makes me wish they would have just went the route of something like Shadow of the Colossus and just skipped out on having normal enemies, but I'm just being picky here. Now, outside of combat and taking in the sights of the world, there are collectibles you can find that help out your character and add to the story. These are little orbs of light that raise how fast you fill your parry bar in combat, and these eggs that I'll keep what they do a secret. Now, I should also mention that Straight Lights is played out in what I would call two stages. You have basically two hub areas you will be exploring with different paths that lead to your objectives that carry the story forward. Now, since the game is so short, I don't want to really spoil anything story related because even though it's pretty vague on what's going on, there are some cool little moments and nice environmental storytelling that really added to the overall experience of the game. With that said, Straight Lights is definitely worth the price point of admission, and I really do hope we get a sequel or something similar to it gameplay-wise down the road. A game like this with a bigger budget and more debt to the combat could be a truly interesting experience.